Hi guys, um, yeah, today I'm gonna be reviewing every single cube in my collection. Well, except my Rubik's Star Spinner and my World's Smallest Rubik's Cube because of the Rubik's Star Spinner broke and I can't find my, and I can't find the World's Smallest Rubik's Cube, but here we go. Just gotta close this door. I have this Rubik's Cube with my a custom color scheme and yeah, I'm trying to find I think I might need to wait no this camera doesn't flip yeah but still I need like a good camera and some in the camera to somehow get onto this uh, but um, yeah, this is actually pretty bad. Well, I did it on this cube. I did this color scheme on this cube because of this was the only cube that. Well, I had other cubes, but this is the cube that I. But this is a cube that I wanted. So like resticker, I didn't want to resticker any of my 3D puzzles because they only have one of them. Well, two of them, but they have, but each one has a different design. So um, yeah. Here's another Rubik's brand. You can tell it's the old version. This logo and yeah, stickers. Oh, it looks backwards in this camera. I don't know. But, um, faster. Yeah, a little faster, but pretty loud. And then there's this. Pretty fast. But, um, but not as fast as this. Pretty loud, but a pretty good cube. This is like a Mofangi thunderclap. Mofangi, Mofangi, I'm not sure how you say it. But as you can tell from here, even though it's a reversed logo in the camera. And yeah, speaking of that, this is what we're doing. Pretty good cube. It corner twists. And, um, yeah, and moving on to my 3D puzzles. And yeah, this is pretty fast, but still not as fast as the uh, other one. This, this used to be my main. Until I replaced it with this. Nice, nice cube. Yeah, this is also a pretty nice cube. And yeah, this is my other one. It, it's creepy. Those faces are staring at me. They're staring at you now. Okay, enough of that. Now moving on to my two by two by twos. This was my first, and this was my first two by two by two, and the first one I had, and I got, and I only have two, and I got the other one like a like a while. I think I had this for like like one or two years. This, yeah, I think I. This is just a pocket cube. It's by the Rubik's brand. And, um, yeah, pretty cool. This also used to be my main until, yeah, this is the next cube on the list.
pretty cool. Also, bonus, there's this cool algorithm that you just keep repeating and it goes from solved to scramble to solved if you just keep hitting it. So you have, like you can do it on any side, just do this. It looks, like, it looks a little different in the camera, but this is, in the camera it's not the right moves, but R, U prime, R, U prime. R U prime. I mean, no, not R U prime. That's just R U actually. R U R U R U R U R U R U R U R U R U R U R U R U. Pretty cool. Now. The minxes. So this is a mini keychain PR minx. My only PR minx. Turns pretty well. Yeah, this is a mini keychain PR minx. And then my mega minx. My wee my wee mega minx. As you can also see a little bit here, it was pretty good. And then my final cube, the magic snake. Yeah, this this thing can bend into all sorts of cool shapes. It's not really that much of a cube, but well, I'm pretty sure it still has a solve position. Probably, yeah, I think it's the position it came in the thing, but um. Yeah, that was me reviewing all my cubes. Bye.